Yes, I, I think it, uh, we are an important piece in the recycling business. When we started in the middle of the 90s with the food waste, 98% uh, of the garbage went out on the landfill. And today it's the opposite way, it's 98% that's uh, incinerated or recycled in some way and just 2% to, to, to the landfill. So we had changed a lot. In uh, 2005 it was possible to participate in the project that combined uh, composting and biogas production. Then it started to see that it was possible to, uh, to drive cars on, uh, on biogas, upgraded biogas. When it comes into the upgrading plant, it uh, has around 70% uh, of methane. So uh, to upgrade it to fuel, we have to raise it to 97%. So the, the upgrading plant uh, separates the CO2 from the CH4, from the methane, and, and then we compress it up to 210 bars and sell it uh, to, uh, in our case, Arga. Uh, so here the, our trucks use uh, around 25% of uh, what we are producing. The rest uh, is transported by Arga to Oslo area where it's uh, used for buses and also garbage trucks. Yes, it's a, the most well-known technique was of course the amine scrubber. It has been used on several plants all over the world, I think. Uh, and the mem membrane technology was uh, quite new. Uh, but uh, what we saw in uh, England, England, we liked in Palmbury. You can rely on the technique, it's, it's working all the time. That's, that's the most important uh, thing because we focus on, on the, the easy way to, to run it. Just push the start button and then it uh, goes maybe just one minute and then you are on a specification. No chemicals, no water. It's just, uh, it's just gas in pipes, so it's a clean and easy way to separate methane from uh, CO2 in the biogas. Uh, when we start to look at the, the membrane technique, it was quite new, we didn't know about it, so uh, it was a, a little gamble about the, the lifetime of the membranes, because it hasn't been, hadn't been used for uh, upgrading biogas before. Uh, now we have been running for two years without any problems, and we see uh, the pilot plant in England has been running for uh, even two or three more years without the, any problems. So it, it seems like this, uh, the membrane technology is, uh, is a stable and a good product. Uh, the experience with the DMT company is, is very good uh, and they can connect uh, to the plant to see if there's something wrong that we can't see. The cooperation with the service department also very good. We have a service contract uh, one year at a time and, uh, and uh, with two visits uh, a year and this is functioning uh, very good, I think, yes. It's hard to find a, a negative spot to talk about. So at the end, I think it, it, it's not, it wasn't a gamble. It, uh, it's what, it was a good choice here, yeah, it was.